Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. Welcome back to the channel. Just the other day, I talked about an incident that happened in Japan at a retailer store that uh, was doing PS5 restocks. They were basically setting up a ticket system uh, for people to be able to pick up a next-gen console and chaos erupted. It turned into a mob. The cops were called and yeah, it didn't end well they canceled all the restocks and now this is an update on what is going on with that situation before we get to this article if you are brand new to the channel why don't you go ahead and click the red subscription button down below guys it is completely free to do so i upload all the time and live stream you guys might enjoy it here anyways let's go ahead and read this article from screen rant it says ps5 retailer in japan bans all scalpers or a few sale to possible resellers. So following a chaotic PlayStation 5 restock, a Tokyo retailer is banned suspected scalpers from buying consoles via several store policy changes. So some changes have happened because of the incident the other day, which this is good. This is big news, guys. Um, if you've been following the channel, I've been talking about scalpers and all the craziness of the PlayStation 5 and even the Xbox Series X. So... This is a pretty interesting turn of events. So it says, following a chaotic scene, a Japanese PS5 retailer has banned all scalpers and will refuse console sales to suspected console resellers. Now, this is interesting. I know they're probably going to talk about it in here, but, you know, are you just going to witch hunt everybody that you think is a scalper? Or how are you going to determine an individual coming to the store as a scalper? That's, that's what I want to know. You might offend somebody that is legitimately just wanting to buy a couple of PS5s, but we'll see. We'll see. So it says, since its release in November, the PS5 has been in ridiculously short supply, due in part to scalpers. In the U.S. alone, it was recently learned that scalpers have resold 10% of all PS5 sold at retailers. So 10% of all PS5 sold in the U.S. are by scalpers. They've all been resold. Wow, 10% is a huge number. So the console's existing scarcity combined with sky-high demand has led to what may go down as the world's worst console shortage in gaming history. Uh, you're not wrong on that. So just a few days ago, Japanese retailer uh, Yoda Yodabashi Camera released hundreds of PS5 consoles for sale at a Tokyo location on a first-come, first-served basis. And we, we watched the video of this the other day and we saw just how chaotic it, go it was like literally like when the doors opened everybody just like shoved in now it wasn't like fights it wasn't people punching each other and stomping on their heads like the kentucky walmart video that i showed a while back that got banned off youtube and deleted and i got a strike on the channel because of it it wasn't that chaotic it was the most polite mob i've seen in my life <laughs> these guys were peacefully shoving each other but anyways to continue on with it it says uh, it resulted in several people including store staff being shoved and injured as well as several cash registers being knocked over despite allegations that sony had been neglecting the japanese market yorobashi camera believes that scalpers are to blame for what happened and yeah i mean it's interesting to see a retailer go after scalpers in this regard because a lot of them seem like they really don't care as long as they get consoles sold um to be honest so to see a major retailer especially one in japan go after scalpers like this and actually blame them as a problem is interesting to me now let's continue with it it says famitsu reports that yodobashi camera will be making several policy changes to ensure there is not a repeat of such chaos at one of its stores so, it says, first, the store will be randomizing scheduled sales of the PS5. So, randomize scheduled sales. So, I guess they're just not going to announce them anymore. Not give a heads up that they'll just happen randomly. It says, the next change is that uh, customers will only be able to buy a PS5 using the store's credit card plan. So, it just so happened that this store does have a policy where you have to have a Yodobashi camera credit card to buy certain items and all but one 
location, which is the one that this incident happened at, required it. So this store was the only location that did not require a credit card of theirs to purchase the PS5. How, how, you know, well, duh, everybody in the mother's going to go to the one location that doesn't require you to use their credit card. So now they are doing that. They should have just did it in the first place. This says it's unclear why that location did not have the same policy as other stores, but the company believes that it is one of the reasons chaos broke out. You think, do you think that is like, like it doesn't take a rocket scientist you know, everybody in the mother's going to go to the store that doesn't require the, the credit card. Now, it says it's now put up signs below, below signs in the store, which state that cashiers will refuse to sell to resellers and that if the salesperson decides the purchase is intended for resale, we will refuse to sell. So here's their signs saying that um, they will refuse to sell to resellers. And then you can see they require you to have a gold point card in order to buy from this location. So very huge changes being made with the uh, with the intent of combating scalpers and, and, and resellers. Now again, how are you able to prove that a person coming in is a reseller? I have no absolute clue. This could be an incident waiting to happen. You know, some more problems might happen if they accuse the wrong person. Now it does say Yodobashi has provided customers with no speci specified time frame for previous PS5s or other high dollar purchases, but just the deterrence its new policies have brought after last week's chaos should be an example to retailers around the world of the kinds of measures it's worth looking into taking against scalpers. Even if they aren't completely effective, it's refreshing to see a retailer take active and successful precautions against the scalping issue plaguing this new console generation. And again, that's why this um, article caught my attention. You you normally don't see retailers care what happens as long as inventory and stock gets sold. So good on Yodobashi Camera, honestly. It says only time will tell if these new policies will successfully keep PS5 scalpers, PS5s out of scalpers' hands. So who knows? Um... They are definitely a lot more than anything I've ever seen any other retailers do. Uh, it'd be interesting to see if stores in the UK or the US follow suit. Honestly, I don't think they will though. Could you imagine the chaos at a United States store if they decided to do this? Uh, people would be legitimately pissed. <laughs> they wouldn't be as nice or as peaceful as the people in Japan. Uh, they would definitely uh, be a little bit more physical and vocal. So very interesting that this retailer is doing it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you on the next one.